All right, you tuned into a good one today. We're going to be learning the Pythagorean theorem dealing with a right triangle. Remember, the Pythagorean theorem only works with right triangles, so you must have a 90 degree angle in that triangle for this to work. Okay, and in this specific problem, the hypotenuse, the longest side, is going to come out to a radical that we need to simplify. So there's a little extra step at the end. Pay close attention, you'll be able to figure this out pretty quickly. Brand new marker today, nothing better. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A and B are our legs, so six inches and six inches. So I'm gonna say six squared plus six squared equals C squared. Now I just need to work this out to find what my missing side, specifically the hypotenuse in this case, is. Six squared is 36 plus another six squared, which is 36, equals c squared. 36 plus 36 is gonna give me 72, equals c squared. Now, when you first start working with these types of problems, a lot of the time, the first types of problems you're gonna get, the answer at the end is gonna be what's called a perfect square, such as the square root of 49, or the square root of 100, or the square root of 64. Those are all perfect squares, but when we square root this side to cancel out the exponent of two, and we square root the other side, we're now left with C equals the square root of 72. Now you can go up here and say this is the square root of 72, but if you're asked to simplify the radical, you have one more step involved, meaning you need to take that radical, which is not a perfect square, and you need to simplify it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is write that over here, square root of 72, and you need to now start thinking about what are two numbers that multiply together to make 72. And hopefully what you get in there is a perfect square. And the first thing that comes to mind when I think of 72 is two times 36. Now, if I put the square root around both of these, square root of two times the square root of 36 would equal the value of the square root of 72. So now all I need to do is simplify this right here, okay? And I probably should have put the square root of 36 first. I'm going to erase that real quick and do that for you guys. I think of square root of 36 times the square root of 2. Okay. Now simplify these. I can't simplify the square root of 2. It's not a perfect square. But I can simplify the square root of 36. 6 times the square root of 2. Okay. So six root two is how that would be said. Six root two would be the value of the hypotenuse and the exact measurement of this missing side. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, work through the Pythagorean theorem as you always have, but now when you come up with a non-perfect square root, you need to simplify the radical. Think of two numbers that multiply together. If one of them is a perfect square, you're good. Good to go. All right. Study hard. Good luck on your upcoming test.